once again everyone and welcome to my channel if you're new here welcome if you're an og also welcome so i'm gonna show you today how i got my nails from that to this using this new gelx tips i actually found you on instagram and it was on my for um, for you page for a really long time so i thought i'd give it a go this is from bt art box x quote tips so i got myself the french tips in medium almond size i'm gonna try them out for you today so first things first is to prep your nails you want to lay your gelex nails on a rough surface so just file off any oils any debris on your nails any dirt file everything off and then just brush up the dirt then i'm going to be using a dehydrator i found this one from tiktok shop which is what i'm using right now to just make sure your nails are free of any oils and you know any other thing that might be left there this is the solid gel glue that i'm using today you can also use the gel the normal gel glue if you want and then the pack also comes with this x coat tips um builder gel and the top coat then this is the beautiful set of nails i particularly love the brown set guys the brown set is beautiful i think i bought this set mainly because of the brown set okay so this set comes with 30 nail tips yes you get 30 nail tips so lots of sizes for different people and everyone i think everyone is very well accommodated with this set that is 150 nails so you can actually use this set how many times five times with different colors i'm so excited so i'm going to be using the brown tips obviously <laughs> i couldn't wait to use that today so after finding all my nail sizes set them aside you have to file inside the nail as well to make it rough so at this point i'm using my electric file to make that happen to just file the inside make everything rough so that the gel glue can lay really well and um, last longer so i'm using this sally hansen cuticle remover to remove my cuticles as well and to also push my cuticles down that also helps your gelex nails to last really long be careful when you're doing this you don't want to hurt yourself okay then i'm using this tool to also cut off any excess um cuticle that is hanging around that is left around and then I'm just using um, alcohol wipes to clean everything off to finish the nail prep. I'm using Bond. This is from a different nail set. This is just a Bond or you can use a primer. So I'm using a primer before I start to use my nail glue. It's now time to glue the Gelex nails. I'll be using the solid gel tips. Initially, I started to use a lot. You need to use a little bit, not a lot. Because when you put too much, it will come out on the sides. And then you're going to have to start cleaning. So when you also put the gel on the nail you need to put it on your nail at a 45 degree angle and then slowly glue it down make sure there are no bubbles okay because if there are bubbles the nails will not last longer and you'll start to get liftings after a few days so stick it on 45 degrees angle and then press down and then you put it under the light as well and cure for about i usually cure for 60 seconds and then after gluing all the nails on then i cure for another 60 to 90 seconds i think depending on the on how powerful your uv lamp is so this is me done glued all the nails pretty much easy straightforward file up the tips just to make it smooth this is the easiest and the quickest diy nails i've ever done i'm not gonna lie to you i don't think it took me up to half an hour to glue all these nails lovely honestly i haven't gone back to the salon since i've been do using these gelex nails it's even motivated me to go back to stick-ons as well. And this brand also sells stick-ons if you're interested. One challenge I had though was um, curing my nail like that. So I had to use this um, tool to hold it down <laughs> so that I could kill. But what I'm going to do is to go back to Amazon and buy these um, nail clips that holds your nail down. Also, if you put too much glue, it's going to pop up in the inside, which is quite annoying for you to take out anyway so done with all this and then i'm just gonna once again wipe off the nails with um, alcohol wipes just to take out any you know any debris any um cutting wool any threads or whatsoever then you go to the number one builder gel that has been given to you from the pack this would help the color to last longer and it just gives you a perfect salon finish as well another tip here is to not put too much because 
when you when i put too much and i then cure my nails under the um, uv lamp the gel begins to like drop to the sides and i find that the sides i have to start filing them a lot so that's a tip for you also you need to put the gel on the tips as well just to help to maintain the color for it to last for a really long time then you go on number two which is the top coat and that's just to finish off as well put over the builder gel and honestly like i said earlier this is the quickest diy nails i've ever done so quick i don't have to file i don't have to do too much painting and you can also use this as a design as well it's a blank canvas for you to put all your designs your stickers and if you're adventurous you can use builder gel um you can use solid gel rather to do lots of designs on your nails so yeah that's me done and then like i said i had some of the gel spilled to the side which was annoying so i had to do lots of filing but that was okay yeah so to not use too much of the builder gel because it will spill to the side especially on my thumb and i think it's just the way i placed my thumb under the uv lamp then i'm using cuticle oil after i have washed my hands i wash my hands really thoroughly well then i used cuticle oil okay and this is me done look at my nails all by myself in the house without spending 50 something pounds 60 something pounds i am all done yay so beautiful i'll put link to their website in the description below if you guys want to give it a go there are other different colors as well and they've come out with these beautiful reds for christmas so hop on it guys and then of course if you get there mention me and say you watch my video and that's how you got to know about them so this is the next day and my cuticles were hurting so bad and that's because i pushed the nails too much into my cuticle so please do not do this okay so i went back to the drawing board and i started to file what i'm doing right now i started to file the nails near my cuticle i had to file down the nails there around my cuticle for all 10 fingers so i guess this is what i should have done earlier on or to not put my or to not fix the nails too much into my cuticle so that's one thing to note guys well after doing this brushed it off i then reapplied the top coat to just um give it another finish and make it look nicer then i then applied the top coat once again and cured under the light and then this is the new look you can see that the nails are not too much into my cuticles because they were really really hurting anyway thank you guys for watching subscribe for more videos and love y'all